Let's write the name for HG2S. So first off, we have this metal here, mercury, HG. That's a metal. It's a transition metal. We have a nonmetal. So metal, nonmetal. We're going to name this as an ionic compound. So first, let's write the name for HG as it appears on the periodic table. That's mercury. Next, we'll write the name for the sulfur. That's sulfur. And then we replace the UR with IDE, since we have an ionic compound. So far, we have mercury sulfide as the name for HG2S. But remember, mercury, that's a transition metal. So we need to put a Roman numeral between here. So the sulfur, that's going to be 2 minus. And then mercury, each one of them, that's going to be 1 plus. 2 times 1 plus, that balances out the 2 minus. So we have mercury 1 sulfide. Let's put a Roman numeral in here. So that makes the name for HG2S mercury 1 sulfide. We should note with mercury, the mercury 1 ion is HG2, 2 plus. So each one of the mercuries is 1 plus. But this whole thing stays together. It's kind of like a polyatomic ion almost. So when we say mercury 1, we're talking about HG2, 2 plus. It doesn't matter as much when we're naming this compound H2S here, but with other mercury 1 compounds, you'll need to consider this right here. This is Dr. B with the name for HG2S, mercury 1 sulfide. Thanks for watching.